So a lot of you have probably noticed that Project Flight actually has voice chat servers. And yeah, it seems quite cool. So you probably joined it and you got into the server, loaded in your plane, and then you do what you'd normally think you ask. So you go something along the lines of, can I push back ATC? And you say call sign or something, uh, or start your engines. And then people start telling you, no, that's not what you do. You have to do this and this and this. And then you get all embarrassed and you don't know what to do. So you just leave and yeah. So today I'm gonna help you guys out because I've personally learned how to do full flights. And it's not that hard once you do it once. So I'll do a simple tutorial. I'm not going to be talking about stars and SIDs and whatever. Because you never even use them to be honest. And don't be afraid to ask in game. If there's any after this video, if there's anything that you don't know and the ATC tells you something, don't be afraid. Just ask what it is you're new and they won't judge you. So first of all, I recommend getting yourself a little piece of paper and writing each step down. I ended up having 14 steps. You might have more, you might have less. So let's go on with the first thing. So the first thing is you have to submit your flight plan. Now this can be done depending on what the ATC wants. They will have every time you start a flight, you have to do a flight plan. So whether it's in a voice chat, like uh, actual chat, as you see here, sometimes they want you to do it there. And sometimes they want you to do it in an actual, um, you know, website. This one looks different to any I've ever done, but it's the same exact thing. You just put in your information and let's go through the flight plan. So you want to put your cool sign, of course, your aircraft. IFR slash VFR, always put in IFR, and you put in your departure and arrival, that's simple. Now, IFL. Your IFL is your initial flight level, and so when you reach that level, 020 is 2,000 feet. So once you reach 2,000 feet, you contact the ATC, and they will give you permission to go to your flight level. So you put which ones you want down here, and then your squawk, put in N slash A until they give you it, and then you edit it and put in the one they told you. Usually they want you to tell them the squawk code again, like repeat, so yeah. Now next, when you're at the gate and you want to start your flight, you, after you've done your flight plan, you ask your call sign, then requesting IFR clearance to, and for example, Menorca, wherever you're going, you say that. Once they read back all the your uh, info here they'll give you the squawk and you can type that in and after that you can finally contact the ATC for pushback and start once you've pushed back and they told you to tell to the left or right then you request taxi this is when you want to open your charts now it's nice to have two monitors for this but if you don't it's still playable it's completely fine it's just more convenient if you have two monitors you bring up the uh, charts here in the ATC charts you see here for example Menorca I mean what the hell, Manuka? Grand Canary here. So you have a look which gate you're at if you can't tell from the game, and you tell them if they ask. So yeah, once you push back and you request taxi, they'll sometimes ask you for read back when they tell you where to taxi through. Now this is completely easy and you'll eventually remember the aviation alphabet but as you see if it's r it's romeo if it's g it's golf you get what i mean so bring up the aviation alphabet you can search it up on google put it up somewhere so you can open it if you forget or don't know what a letter means and they'll tell you to taxi via let's see here so usually you take off on 21 right at grand canaria so you push back pretending you're at gate five you push back and go Romeo 12, Golf, Romeo 8, and then Romeo 9 left. So sometimes they ask you to read it back. So what's cool to do, you don't have to. You can just memorize it if it's easy for you. But if you really have troubles, then you can bring it up here and draw lines exactly where they said so you don't forget and then you read it back. Sometimes they will want you to read it back, sometimes they won't. Put your lights on, of course, and all of this whenever you want, whenever you prefer. Put your taxi lights on when you push back, of course, but flaps, you can do that whenever. I'm not going to talk about that. You can set your autopilot before, but I don't really do that. I don't recommend it, so yeah. Once you've gotten permission to line up, take off, whatever, once you've been holding at the runway, you can say, if you want to ask for permission, you say your call sign, holding short Romeo 9 left, requesting takeoff, and once they give you clearance, yep, you take off. And remember how I was talking about that IFL or initial flight level? Well, that's when you want 
to set your autopilot to stay at 2000 or whatever your IFL is. It's usually 2000 for people. And you keep your speed not too quick because you might go out the airspace before you get a chance to talk to the ATC because sometimes there's a lot of people and you don't get the chance to talk. So set your speed to not be that quick and say you've reached your initial flight level and you would like to climb to your cruising altitude and then the ATC gives you permission and you climb to your cruising altitude. So once you've left the airport, usually the tower contacts you to do a frequency change to your destination's frequency, but if they don't, just remind them because sometimes they can forget. And frequency change, you go on Discord, you go to whatever, you know, chat is your destination. So let's say I went from Gran Canaria, I'd be here. So then you go to um, Menorca which is your destination for example and then you go to this chat and say you're entering the airspace and they will guide you so you can say your intentions if they ask you say your intentions are to land and if they don't they usually don't i'm pretty sure so you come in for arrival you say you're on final or you say you're turning in for approach whatever and the tower will give you um permission to land or they ask you to tell them when you're on short final which just means when you're closer to the runway you announce your final, you announce your short final, then you taxi off the runway. You go to your gate via whatever the pattern they wanted you to. So let's say I landed on 19. They want me to taxi off Alpha 1, Tango, Delta, and then Juliet, whatever gate. You read back if they want you to. If they don't, you just do that. And boom, your flight's done. And then you repeat everything I just said. Don't be afraid to ask for stuff because you're a beginner. Or if I forgot something, sorry about that. But this is just the basics. You'll learn as you go. It'll get really easy. You won't even need the list. This is more for the first like flight. And yeah, hope this helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.